Texas has been inhabited for many, many years, thousands of years. Who was here first? Indians. Lots of tribes. Kiowa and the Comanche, Cheyenne and Arapaho, Caddo, Wichita. Lots of tribes. The list is long. Back in those days, before the Spanish came, there wasn't a single horse in Texas. Not one horse. Millions of buffalo, millions of them. No cattle. A lot of antelope. A lot of prairie dogs. The place was crawling alive with living creatures, but no horses and no cattle. Don Juan de Ornette. He turned the horses over to a tribe of Indians that he had subdued, the Puebla Indians, made servants out of them, unpaid servants, and he made a mistake as far as the Spaniards were concerned. He turned these horses over to the Puebla Indians for care and feeding, training, whatever, and they were good at it. They were good at it. They became excellent horsemen. But they didn't like to be servants of the Spanish. So they'd sneak off. And every time they snuck off, they'd take with them a few horses. And before too many decades passed, in the 1600s, all of the tribes in the plains had horses, particularly the Comanches. The early Texans, here's a map over here, it just looks like jumble, but it's really rivers and streams. See all these cabins? The early birds got the water. The early birds got the water. Now, you had these other people come in. Everybody wanted to come to Texas, start a farm or a ranch. This guy up here, Make believe these lines are barbed wire. He's up here, away from the river. Doesn't have any water. What does he do? First thing he does is ask this guy to cross his property. I want to come down and get water. Guy says, how often? He says, every day. And the guy says, you ain't going to do that. You're not crossing my property every day to get water. So he drills a well, or he digs a well. Big old mouth on this well. They needed elbow room because they did it with with the uh, shovels and picks. It's hot in Texas in the summer. These wells went dry, so they had to go deeper. And then they had a problem, how do you get the water out of the ground? You can't pull it up with this contraption. Water is heavy. Ropes that get wet are heavy. You have 200 feet of wet rope, you can't lift it out of the ground. Well, another one of those fellows back east, came up with this contraption. What is that? You betcha. You betcha. Operated by wind. Real cheap energy, that wind, isn't it? And it lift water out of the ground. So that problem was solved. Now you could park almost anywhere in the dry parts of Texas and establish yourself farming or ranching or whatever. So remember that. If you remember nothing else, barbed wire, windmills helped settle Texas. You've got 
that have water. Now, I want you to think about this for a minute. Look around you, there's hundreds or so of you kids. There's schools all over Montgomery County. There's schools all over North Texas, and South Texas, West Texas. There's schools everywhere, full of kids, brushing their teeth, taking showers, going home and saying, Mama, Daddy, save water. If you do that, if you do that, you'll fill up lakes. You'll fill up lakes over your lifetime. You'll do it. Think about it.